Hello everyone, it's Dan here from Thomas Rudder Support. In this video I'm going to take you through the portfolio area within Wingman for WordPress. So to begin with, we're going to go to our dashboard and within here we'll go to a portfolio. And because we've imported the demo data, you'll see a range of projects we've already added. But for the sake of this, we're going to add our own fresh one and just show you how it all works. So to start with, we'll go to add new to create our own portfolio. And I'll give this a title of Dan's project. Now inside here will be the bulk of your portfolio content, so um, you can put images etc in there. I'll just quickly grab some random blurb. I'll just grab some text from here. Pop that in there. And maybe a nice image as well. perfect now the one thing you will need to remember to do for each portfolio item is to give it a featured image this will be the image that's used to show it uh, throughout the portfolio archives etc uh, so it's the best one to represent your particular project for the sake of this I'll just grab this one here and you can also assign it to a particular category we've got a few set up for the demo data but I'll just give it its own Before we go any further, let's hit publish and take a look. As we can see, the project we've added has got its title, etc. there. It's got the featured image as well as the text inside, as we'd expect. Now, if you wanted to add a logo, you'll see an area down here. Now, this may not immediately be apparent of what it will do. However, I'll show you right now. If you want to give your particular project a logo, which appears above the title, you can do so here. So I'll, for the sake of this, I will use this one here. And you also got another area to give a logo for the uh, portfolio archive. This is for the grid like this. So you can see we've got the text at the top there with the logo and so on and so forth. So this is where you can give that particular logo if you wish. So in here, I'll just select another image. And we will hit update and take a look so in the single view you can see we've got the logo that we've specified here if we refresh the archive view you can see we've got the details here now the one thing to also mention is you'll see this text this excerpt text here if you want to add this to a particular project in this view then you can do so here by the excerpt field so I'll just put in hello folks and if we update hit reload you can see that's appeared there so really simple very straightforward easy to use now if we wanted to change what the archive view looks like what we can do is go to the options And within here we'll go to portfolio settings, archive settings, and you can see it's currently selected to list, which is this style here. If you wanted to change that to grid, you can do so. So if I just refresh, you'll see that I'll change it into a grid of items. And of course, if you want to use a carousel instead, you're totally free to. Very simple. Any problems with this, then do come see me over at support. Other than that, I hope this has been useful. Have fun with your theme.